The Grand Ayatollah in Iran issued a fatwa against <laughs> women riding bicycles. So he said, Riding bicycle often attracts the attention of men and exposes the society to corruption and thus contravenes women's chastity and it must be abandoned. What? <laughs> oh god, this is so sad. Stop it, stop it. Like, when you have, you know, theocratic idiots, like old men who are super duper fundamentalists running a country, this is the result. Remember, in Saudi Arabia, they issued a fatwa against Pokemon and chess. And they go, can't allow it, can't allow it, un-Islamic, not cool, not cool. You only just made it so that people in Saudi Arabia now want to play Pokemon. <laughs> they might not have ever thought about it before. And you know what they said when they, when they uh, banned chess? They said, we are banning it because it is un-Islamic and a waste of time. Like, this idea of when somebody has too much power and they're stupid, this is how they act. Like, anything they personally don't like, they're like, it's okay, I will save the country from it. <laughs> don't worry, I thought it was a waste of time, so I'm banning it for all of you. Well, what about people who don't think it's a waste of time? The idea that people could think differently from them, like, doesn't even occur. It's like, what do you mean? No, I, I'm in the ultimate arbiter. Duh, people will faithfully follow what I say because I'm so wise. No, you're not wise. You're a fucking dunce. You're a fucking spunk monkey. That's what you are. Fuck off. So, but this is where we're at, man. Now, in Iran, they're like, Women riding bicycles, not okay. Banned. Okay, dude, look at what he, how he phrased it. Riding a bicycle often attracts the attention of males and exposes the society to corruption. How? What does that mean? I see a woman riding a bicycle. I will now go to the government and try to get uh, tax money. <laughs> what are you talking? There's no corruption there. But men are looking at you. I've never once in my life looked at a woman riding a bicycle and going, Oh, it's so hot the way she's riding the bicycle. But that's how they think. Why? Because they try to cover women up anyway and they never fucking see women. So if you see a woman riding a bicycle, if I, if I only see women covered up and then I happen to see a woman riding a bicycle, maybe I'd get hard too. Because <laughs> I've never seen, I don't see women regularly. So then, oh my God, now you're riding a bicycle. Oh my god, oh my, it's so beautiful, the figure and the way you're moving and blah, 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 blah. Like, that's what happens when you fucking repress everything massively. That's never happened, man. Well, I mean, to be fair, if, if I saw, like, Kim Kardashian riding a bicycle and I'm behind her and she's wearing the tight, uh, okay, never mind. I don't, we don't need to get into that. Bottom line is, this is how a silly country acts. Don't be silly. And by the way, most people in Iran, of course, do not agree with this. The, the country is young on average, and they look at these dinosaurs running their country, and they're like, what? <laughs> what does that even mean? What are you doing? But in their fucking, you know, in their position above the rest of society, they, th these leaders look down, the Grand Ayatollah, I will decree things and you will follow, and that's totally cool. You're only sowing the seeds of resentment and hatred against you. <laughs>